Shabbat Shalom. I'm Ak Yilak Mara'ah from the Light of the Gentiles camp. I'm Ak Shaquat Ra'an from the Light of the Gentiles camp. And it's the Ak Karal Kal Kahan. Khan. And first off, we want to give all praises to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS. Start from Apostle Taha, Aramla, Gabar, Manatazat, and Rakar, who the Lord set up to teach this truth with sincerity. Come. First of all, wins. Come. Okay? Special salutations from the Akim that's part of the Light, Tau Light of the Gentiles camp. Come. Who helped put this sit down together that we're going to get into today. Today, All right? Come, brother. Salutations right. to y'all brothers. Come. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect that we pray the most high raises up speed in a speedy fashion. Salutations to all y'all other brothers out there across the four winds that's pushing this word of truth on sincerity, man. Con. All right, so we're going to get into it, man. That's right. So, so we wanted to uh, start off with an article that pretty much inspired this uh, sit-down to come out, okay? Con. You know, we're going to get into this, the full spiritual aspect of the sit-down, but we're going to start off about a little, you know, cardinal things that really started it off. Con. Con. Okay. Yeah, we got um, this article uh, on RT News. It's about junk food ads target black kids 50% more than whites. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that that right there goes to show you that Esau um, <clears throat> has this thing snared where, and the brother's going to go into the percentages, where they do target a certain demographics. Now, this ain't a black and white thing, okay, but Esau likes to rule with color, so he's he's a cardinal man, so he deals with this color thing, so he was targeting um, um, blacks and Latinos, yeah, blacks and Latinos yes. with our advertisements on bad food. Come on. Okay, it says here, in the U.S. alone, companies spend around $1.8 billion marketing junk food directly to kids, and rough, roughly nine out of every wow. 10 use targeted foods as are for sugary drinks, cereal sweets, snacks, and fast food, right? Uh, According to obesity action. That, man? As we say that, as we say that, man, you just had a little baby run right behind us, man. See, you got a little kid over here. This is who Esau is targeting, right? That we got right here on camera, man. Right. That's who Esau is targeting, man. Little, little, little Israelite kids, man. Right. Little babies that can't defend for themselves. You know, they come out the womb speaking Hebrew, man. Those are the little kids, man. The ones that we're supposed to be protecting. Con. That's who he's talking to. And spend. How much was that, brother? $1.8 billion. $1.8 billion, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the amount of money that Esau uses, even though at the same time he says we're in a um, depression. Right. You know, we're in a recession. But meanwhile, they got $1.8 billion a year, mind you, mm -hmm. that they use on advertising little kids. Mind you, they didn't even just talk about advertising adults. Right. Those are different um, food scales. It's talking about just the kids alone. Right. You know, because it knows that anytime you want to get a certain group of people, you got to get them from the root. Con. So who's going to be that new group? The youth. Because they're the ones that's going to grow up. Right. Same way they got them with the rap music and everything else. They're going to talk to the little kids. Because now, for them, eating certain fast foods like McDonald's or, or uh, helping you out, like a Burger King, right. stuff like that, it's going to seem like the natural. Right. If you get them at a young age, why would they know about certain um, organic foods they should be eating? You know, spinach, things of that nature. They're going to think everything was fast food. Con. Con. You know? Con. It says, study shows a wide gap between the average black preschooler up to five years of age who sees six, who sees 16.9 unhealthy foods ad per week. 16.9? Mm-hmm. He healthy. Uh, CC. So uh, those are the statistics, man. You know, and, and once again, they, they targeting on blacks, but they, they do target on whites also. Okay, so it's just showing you the unhealthy food that they um that they target people with, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're gonna fit, flip into the spiritual side of it, but it's, it is showing you that out of all things that America chooses to have its people eat bad foods, mm -hmm. and that's why you got people dying from cancer at a young age, Come on. diabetes, diabetes. Come on. high blood pressure. Come on. You know. And what? And what? Who, who benefits off of off of it? The doctors, mm -hmm. the pharmaceuticals. Con. Okay, and you see that <coughs> all throughout uh, movies like Superfood and I mean uh, Super, Super Size Me Con. and Food Inc. Man. Con. Right. Con, brother. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Yeah, the study then shows how this gap gets even wider as the kids grow up. Mm -hmm. With older black children, 6 to 11 years old, seeing 17.4 of the advertisements compared with 11.7 for the white group. Mm. The disparity grew, grow, grew further among those aged 12 to 17, with blacks seeing 24.2 junk food ads compared to 14.8 for whites. Right. Uh, so mm -hmm. the main point we're trying to push out there, man, is that, yo, Esau, we know this devil that's ruling right now, mm -hmm. is pretty much trying to corrupt us throughout through through all his fools. Because last I checked, I've never seen a commercial talking about taking the herbs. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a commercial saying, have you fasted today? Mm -hmm. Right. Come. You know, you'll see, have you had your break today? You'll see commercials right. like that talking mm -hmm. about McDonald's, but I haven't seen, have you fasted today? Right. Come. You know, I, I've never That's seen right. that. No, you know, right. I, I, you know, but yeah, you meanwhile, right. you'll see a commercial saying, you know, shrimp and lobster, red lobster. You'll see that. Come. Come, so, 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 you know, they always say in God we trust, but in the Bible, you go to the book of Leviticus, it tells you what you should be eating. God. So if that's the case, what God are you serving? Right. That's right. Right. Good point, Doc. Come on. That's right. Um, <laughs> companies dealing, dealing in unhealthy foods were also found to target television channels more likely to be popular with African-American children like Fuse, BET, Right. VH1 and Nick at night. Right. See, see, and those is, and, and that's why you see the community as it is, man. Mm -hmm. You want to know why you got Chief Keefs and, and them um, young thugs? Come. Okay, it's because, for one, we been, um, they, they using um, a psyops, a damn psychological operation, mm -hmm. you know, and, and casting uh, images on how we should be, but also the food we should, we should be eating, you know? And which is, and that food is playing on our brains, mm -hmm. and it's playing on our body, and it plays on our bodies, man. You know, so the the, the balance that we here to give you is we here to actually uh, give you that balance on how to fight that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, we we advertising uh, um, the, uh, another side of of how you should eat. You know, and it's not 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 just eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, but also just you know feeding your spirit. Come and. The first um, scripture I like to go into is Isaiah 30 and 1. Come on. Come on. Come on. But this is what other brothers do, man. You know what I'm saying? Unlike other people out there that just want to be gluttonous all day, you know, party, bullshit. You know, it's the time right between Christmas and New Year's. Right. Brothers could be doing anything else in the world, but we'd rather do this truth, man. Come on. You know, this is what the Most High called us here to do. To get into this word. That's to right. push out, that, yeah. push out his word through a strong vibration, man. So... While y'all dudes over here, you know, looking at menus, we're looking at scriptures, man. That's you know what I'm right. Saying? That's our menu, man. You know, what's you know what's on the menu today? Let's see. Should we read Ezekiel? Should we read um, Job? Kind. You know what I'm saying? That's our, that's, that's our food, man. Right. You know? Kind, brother. Um, um, matter of fact, before we get into that, I, I like to um, bring out a point about how Obama was, you know, popular with, with the blacks and how they advertised him. Mm -hmm. Like like a cheeseburger, you know. Mm. Right. Which 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 the um with Jakes, um blacks and, and Latinos, they, we we was we was um hoodwinked and tricked, mm. you know. Yeah. Because he wasn't giving us that spiritual food that we needed. Right. Right. God, God, man. So, don't do the scriptures and Yahweh Bashem Yahshah, and he gives us that wisdom and 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 that spiritual food that we need. Okay. Right. Come, so, brother. I like to get into Isaiah 31. Come. Come, brother. Come. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. Come. Woe to the rebellious mm. children. Mm. Rebellious children, man. Come. Which, which rebellious means to go against, man, to, to, to stay, stay, stay against and, and don't listen. Come, right. brother. You know? Say if the Lord that take counsel, but not of me. Mm. They take counsel of of. Of 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 these um, politicians, they take counsel of of, of Obama. Right. They don't take counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahshah that's giving you that spiritual food that you need, man. Right, man. Yeah. Because because it's it's almost like it's bitter than them. They want the sweet, you know. You know that's what Jake problem. Jake want want something that's sweet. They want something that sound good to their ear. Come. You know, and and really that's what's bad for you. Come. You know. Come. So, so hey, like you said, they take counsel but not the Lord because they feel like the Lord's word is bitter. Just like if you tell a Jake, yo, 
you should go over here and you should eat more herbs or you know you need to add a more vegetable based diet you know you shouldn't use so much salt on your food Jake be like nah that's bland mm -hmm. or this that and the third you know or nah I can't drink, drink those type of juices mm -hmm. it tastes nasty mm -hmm. you know well listen man we not in the pharmaceutical business alright we not in the business of trying to doctor it up for you so that's what Jake does he said yo he got to doctor up that food real quick Kai. when you go into the etymology the word doctor means to falsify mm -hmm. so when you putting all that other stuff on your food what you're doing is you're trying to you trying you basically don't want to face reality right Kai. listen man the most I made it this way so yeah it may be bitter to you but it's good for you Unlike right. like, like the, the brother said about Obama, he said they treat him like a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. But guess what? That fast food cheeseburger, it may look good, mm -hmm. it may taste good going down, but guess mm -hmm. what? Now you're going to end up with high cholesterol, yep. you're going to end up with cancer, That's right. you're going to end up with um, diabetes. diabetes. Right. You mm -hmm. see? So yeah, you wanted something that sounded good, you know, that, was, that, that looked pleasing to the sight, right. but at the end of the day, it destroyed you. Right. It said, and, and Obama destroyed the damn community, man. Come uh -huh. Because what happened is uh, all the laws that was going to the so-called blacks, they went to women and homosexuals. Come on. They took the, the new civil rights. You mm -hmm. see? Right? And then Obama allowed the doors to be open from the trading from uh, parts of Africa. Kenya. Got, yeah, Kenya. Because he was from Kenya, you know, and George Bush had messed it up. So Obama reopened it back up. You know, that's how what they used him for, the illusion and inclusion. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's how they started to do uh, raw material trades because that's what... Most of the cell phones is made out of the oh, yeah, material come. in Africa. Come. You know, so they have certain minerals. So yeah, man, that basically is like it gave the damn community high blood pressure, man. Come, bro. And when and that, and when you really go into high blood pressure, high blood pressure is is basically <clears throat> when that water is depleted out of you. Mm. You know, you you basically become dry. You know what I'm saying? And mm. and, and most of the jakes that's out here. They, they don't got the water, you know, they basically, they dying of thirst, that's why they protesting, you know, that's why they, you know what I'm saying, that's why, you know, they, they, the, the racial tension is, is picking back up. That's why they're the valley of dry bones. Right, that's why they're the kind, brother, that's why they're the valley of dry bones, man. So, see, and even, and even, and the water the brother was talking about, he's not talking about this water right here. Right. I don't care if even if you had this water, now. 9.5. Right, that's kind, not kind. the water the brother talking about. You have to plenish with that real water. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures. That's right, man. See, that's the water which I need right exactly. now. I dehydrated. Exactly, man. Go ahead. It says, but not of my, it says, and they, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit. Mm. And that, that they may add sin to sin. Come. Yeah, man. They added sin to sin. Um, um, be, being with, with, with this, um, th these abomination foods, man. That's right. Come. You know, Con. Cause th this is causing Jake to go off. This is causing um, to, and, 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 it, and it says the wage of the sin is death, man. That's mm. right. So, so you, you better take the spiritual food that we're giving you to to, to get to get your health back up. Mm. Right, okay? Con, brother. Con. So the brother saying like y'all need a spiritual detox, man. Mm. You know what I'm Con. saying? That's what that's what's going on. Cause y'all constantly just putting more abominations in your body, and then a lot of these foods that y'all eat, you know, y'all clearly know is wrong for you. All the studies say it's wrong for you. Kind. But y'all just care about the taste. Right. And then later on, like we said, you wonder why you're going through all these health problems. Right. Why you got knee problems. You know what I'm saying? Why you got back problems. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand, like, we got a strong vibration with what we eat, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a strong vibration with what we eat. You know, they got a saying saying, you are what you eat. And it's true. You can smell it coming out your pores, man. That's right. So certain things that you digest, that's what you become. That's right. So huh? just imagine if you used to digest more spiritual food. Mm -hmm. Just imagine how more spiritual you'll become. Hey, that, hey, you know what, brother? That's that's a beautiful point. You see, you're going to have nothing but spiritual things come out of you. Come, brother. Come. Come. Um, yeah, it says um, here, the kids are really influenced by what's cool. Mm. You know? Right. And McDonald's. See, yeah. That's what's cool. Come. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't, you know, dudes at the school, you know, when you was in school, dudes, yo, we going to McDonald's. Ain't nobody here, yo, we gonna go over here to the salad bar. Herbal <laughs> spot. Yo, the herbal spot, right. That, you would sound too geekish, man. Mm -hmm. You know you gonna go to a salad bar. Yo, we gonna go and get a nice home-cooked meal. Nah, dudes want to go to a fat McDonald's, man. Burger King. And that's why they targeted the kids, because Esau understands the concept of the little kids. Kids don't do what you say, they do what you do. Right. So if you put the image out there that it's cool to go to McDonald's, it's cool to go to freaking... 
What was the old school stuff? Discovery Zone. Right. It's cool Discovery to go to Chuck Zone. E. Cheese. It's cool to go to all these different spots. That's what they're going to do. Nobody never made it cool saying it's good to go to the herbal spot. That's Nobody right. Nobody never made it cool saying it's good to eat herbs. That's right. Nobody never made it cool saying, you know what, you should fast once a week. That's hey, right. little kid, fast once a week, just don't tell me when you're doing it. Nobody right. never made it cool, so if you put that out now, nobody wants to listen. Nah, right, huh? nah, you know? they don't want to listen. They put cool on a pack of cigarettes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, cool. And the name of it became cool. cool. Exactly, but then the back of that cigarette, it tells you it's going to kill you. <laughs> and that's the Jake problem. Jake don't look into things. They don't look into the food that they eating. They don't look into them honey buns where it say, oh, damn, dectrose this and... You know what I'm saying? Titanium, whatever the hell, you know? Yeah. Jake don't look into those things, man. Read the fine print. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, you got more. Next, next scripture is um, Matthew 26 and 41. Right. This is the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Come. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. Mm. Yeah, man. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, man. Kind. Which is the more abomination food? That's temptation, cause we've been since 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 a young one. They they've been trapping our minds with this with this stuff, man. Kind. Commercials after commercials, you know. Right. Of, kind, of, of Mc, Mc, McDonald's, Burger King, um, White. Uh, matter of fact, they had a, a movie, um, um, Harold and um, Kumo go to White Castle, man. Yeah. yeah I, and after that, that was a whole yeah. movie about an advertisement, man. Kind. The whole movie was about advertising fast food. Come and on. you know what? It worked. Because before I was in the truth, when I saw that movie, mm -hmm. I went and got me like 12 packs, man. And I did too. I got it. You I know did what too. It worked. They made, they made millions off of us. It made millions. Yeah, man. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And, and a good point of that, again, the key words right there said watch and pray. So you got so to be a watchman. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You can't be sober in this truth, man. Because now when you watch it, you pay attention. You right. understand what's going on, what's nutrition for you, what's not. Right. And then you got to pray on it because you can watch all you want, but if you don't pray to the most high to unlock that spiritual eye, mm -hmm. you know, to unlock that spiritual senses, then how you going to know what's right and what's wrong? Right. Because you can read the scriptures all day, but the most high don't unlock it to you how you know what's right. Right, man. You know? You still got our people out here eating seedless grapes, man. Mm -hmm. Now I understand the concept that says seedless. Right. Because they can see all they want, but they ain't pray. Right. Because hey, that's what they do, man. They make the foods look good now. They put the extra wax on the apples. You know, they dress the burger up and with the and have certain smells mm -hmm. and put certain MSG in there. So when you taste it, you know, you're, it becomes a, you're, you become addicted to it, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, the scripture said, watch and pray that you enter not into te temptation mm -hmm. because that's the game Satan played. You know, America looks good. The ways of becoming a, a, a rap star, that looks very, very, you know. Appeasing. Appeasing to the eye, man. All the women you like, the latest clothes and jewelry, the cars, you got a fancy fly talk, you know, so, you know, you got to watch those things. Why? And pray. Pray that what? Pray that the Lord give you a stronger spirit, mm, you know? Pray that the Lord give you a stronger spirit, stronger spirit that you don't buy into those advertisements because this world is a big, it's just a big advertisement, man. Come on, brother. You know? Come on. A big stew of pot of wickedness, man. Right. Come on. Um, it says the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, man, the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. You know, you, you, in your mind, you're like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I definitely gotta, um, definitely gotta eat better. I definitely gotta, um, Con. I definitely gotta, um, but it, it, you have to flip that. You have to um, go to the Most High. Matter of fact, you gotta go to to, to his son, Yahweh Shah. I mean, which is which is the model. Con. You know? That's right. That's right, Doc. Come on, brother. Of 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 giving you that. That Whole Foods, it's that Trader Joe's, or you, you know, Con. Con, back, brother. In, back into building, building, building up your system of that health, man. That's right, bro. You know? Con, brother. That's right. Because all that junk food is, it's gonna take a toll on your body after a while, and and and, and, and it basically des destroy it afterwards, man. Okay. Right. And the spirit is willing, man. Because because uh -huh. you know every everybody strives. If you're in this truth, man, you're going to strive for righteousness, man. That's right. You know, every day you're going to say, you know, I need to eat better this. I need to have more herbs. I need to drink more tea. But then, you know, that flesh is going to start craving. You know, maybe I should get that McDonald's. I ain't get one in six months. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should get this White Castle. I ain't get one in a minute. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have that little Snickers bar real quick. I ain't have it in a minute. Maybe I should have that Butterfinger. I didn't have it in a while. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, you start falling back into temptation. Exactly. Prime brother. example, you already uh, know, you know, it'll be the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit is running. Yeah, I'm going to do the whole Sabbath. Next thing you know, you wonder why you're getting erect in the Sabbath. Right. Right. You got your rib coming over to you, trying to, trying to um, lay down with you. You yep. like, what's going on? Now yep. all of a sudden, now you in heat. 
Mm-hmm. You know, so that's the demons that you always gonna be having to fight. But you gotta, you gotta um, persevere, man. You Kind, gotta, bro. You gotta keep fighting. Kind. You know what I'm saying? The most I didn't say it was gonna be easy. Kind. But you guys, you gotta show yourself approved, man. And that's a be- that's a beautiful point, man. You know. Kind. You. Next to uh, Okay. Isaiah 40 and 31. Kind. Kind. Right, man. You got more on the article to bring out. Or that was it. Mm, that that was it. Okay. 